once today, isn't that right, being in my What are you guys doing down here today? It's a coincidence I ran into you. What's going on? Uh, little video. Of all the videos that you've shot, what do you think? Like, which one did you have the most fun making? Uh, God, what do you think, Dean? Well, that was my second one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so far, one. so good? Yeah. You're having a good time? Mm. This one definitely was you better look than good. the other one. Both of you. Can this we get a shot of these sandals? The I love the sandals. Tell me a little bit about the story of the video. Um, well, yesterday we shot a whole day of us playing, like, in this kind of nightclub type of David Lynch type mm -hmm. of weird nightclub thing. And then today we're doing this <coughs> lineup where we're standing, like, in a mock police lineup with people that look like us. And how they're going to tie together, yeah, well, we don't, don't know yet. Dean's <laughs> acting like he knows why we're doing this. We don't know why we're doing this. When you shoot a video, how much of the you know conceptual stuff and the creative input comes from the band? Uh, this time, absolutely none. And it's probably them. why we're having a good time. <laughs> You don't have as much on the line. Uh, yeah. Before in the past, I think we've all torn our hair out about which idea gets put where, right. who looks like what, when. Never was happy with results. Absolutely. I mean, usually we do take part, take like a major uh, role in like what's being done on film, but this one, I think, it's probably due to a lot of like time constraints. We right. kind of just let people take control of the video. And so far, how, do you, how are you feeling so about So far, that? it's great. Like, yeah. it's the scariest thing because I know this is going to be the one video that's really like, that you're really psyched on, and you'll be like, and we'll say, yeah, that's the one we had nothing to do with. <laughs> Look how good it is. And so far, this has not been um, typically disgusting and uh, right. horrible and un uncomfortable. For me, very uncomfortable. And uh, sort of, you know, out of your element feel. Sure. You know, for me, if you ever saw us play or whatever, you know, I'm real comfortable with a lot of water on me and a lot of snot in my face. <laughs> right. You know, nobody right. in my face saying, do that again. You know, right. so... But this has been okay. This has been okay so far. So, so far, far, so good. So good. Nice. Wacky covers. I love yeah. the Midnight Cowboy thing. Anything uh, new in the can that I can look forward to? Oh, we got a little Bee Gees cover. We got a little Al Martino, a little Gigi Allen, you know. You know, when you put out a record, there's always like, like there's any record company in England, there's one in Germany, they always want more material for the right. special little versions of whatever. Right. They want more B-sides. Like the nine songs on the CD single. Kind yeah, of. and we're just thinking, I mean, it's such a pain to get together and have to like record these songs, make these B-sides after we just like sweated through this record and finally <laughs> Wasn't made it through. Enough. Yeah, so we, I just had this little studio in my basement and I was gone, actually, and Dean started getting there, got everybody together and they started recording uh, these B-sides. So it was cool because we did them completely ourselves with no producer or anything, and it sounds really cool to me. I mean, it's a little bit amateurish, but it was but that's fun. That's all right. So, yeah, exactly. Coming up, we got Quicksand, Alice in Chains, and more with Faith No More when Super Rock continues. Ooh. Ooh. Why First concert you ever went to, Roddy? Uh, I think the first thing I saw was uh, I went to Don Krishner's rock concert and saw Devo. That was so cool. Yeah, it was Not really cool. Not a lot cool. of people can say that. No, I waited in line for an awful long time. I think my first concert was like a day on the green. Yeah, day on the green. See, I would have killed. What was been your first able concert? To go to those. I think it was Night Ranger. That's not so bad. David Bowie. Really? What yeah. tour? Um, right when Space Oddity came out. Wow. I guess it was God. I was eight years old. My dad was a David Bowie fan, so. That was a cool first concert. It was good, actually. It was a good, uh, my first impressions of rock music was that, and I think that was good. Yeah. A lot of androgynous people smoking pot, but right. it's good for an eight-year-old. Yeah. Next, in Danzig, Chili Peppers, and details on how you can enter Super Rock's warm-up the zombie contest. <laughs> Recording in the woods. How did that affect the new album being up in Bearsville? Uh, we had.
had to deal with each other. It was a little bit like the real world. That's the way I saw it. Every time we've recorded, it's always been around here. So, I mean, there's always just crap to do when you live at home. You know, there's letters to mail, bills to pay, crap like that. You right. Know? This, really, there was nothing to do except listen to crickets at night. <laughs> well, we saw God. We had a really bad uh, car accident. I heard about the car accident. Yeah. I heard you had a couple of car accidents. So there were, yeah. We had to look a lot of things in the face. It was nice. And you pleased with the outcome? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't drive anymore. <laughs> so you're looking forward to this tour? Or you? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we've been touring already now for two months. You and now Europe? comes America. We did Europe, and we just did a little spell in Australia really quick. Didn't you guys play with Nine Inch Nails down we there? We played with Nen. Did you Three enjoy Nen? Nen? I loved Nen. I thought Nen was Trent, hot. he's got quite a rock show, eh? Yeah, he's right? Little goth boy. I know. He out tantrums uh, Courtney by a long shot, I wow. think. Was she ever in your band? Did she, like, play with you once? Oh, no, she was in our band for a while, like months. She months. was a key player. Yeah, she was very key. She was cool back then. Yeah, it opened up doors for us. Do you urine at all to be like the front man and like be? I totally thought you said, do you urine? Oh, do you urine? No, do, do you? I do, do often. Do you urine just step from behind the drum? Not when I'm only spitting, though. No, I absolutely do not. Absolutely. You're totally into being no a drummer. No way. I don't want to stand at the front. I spit at the back. You do There's your thing. There's snot and the sweat and spit and. So you're not like offended by drummer jokes or anything? What do you do when a drummer comes to your door? I don't know. Pay him for the pizza he's delivering. <laughs> Stick around for some sick of it all, Offspring, Run DMC, and all kinds of faith no more after these messages. He's enough. Oh, yeah. Mash. Mash, yeah. I hate to say it, you know, but no, Brady no. Bunch and Partridge Family, sure. That sure. kind of was, you know, it. I have two favorite movies of all time. Probably one is Phantom of the Paradise. And there was this old one with Paul Williams as the devil. So that at a very young, impressionable age. I've probably seen Scarface more than any other movie really? because I saw Scarface in an impressionable state. And it made quite an impression <laughs> on me. What movies do you know all the words to? Oh, uh, I don't know. Blade Runner, because I was working in a movie theater for a long time and always hear it inside. It's played for like months. Really? Where'd you work in a movie theater? San Francisco, right here. Which are many, here many. In the, in the many. Tenderloin District? Actually, really close to the Tenderloin District. It was very seedy, very seedy theater. How'd you get the nickname Puffy? Well, all these uncomfortable questions. Oh, is that? Is, I didn't know if that was like that's something you hated. Some nicknames people like. I don't really particularly care for it, honestly. Okay. Well, I'm not um, calling you. I'm calling you Mike. So. Yes, I appreciate the respect okay. that you've given me <laughs> to do that. Believe me. Um, it came from when I was uh, about 15. And our old guitar player, Jim Martin. Yes. Who was, uh, I used to play in a band with him. And uh, a dear friend of ours called Cliff Burton, who's now, you know, long dead, still dead. Right. Still as dead. Of this, as of this taping, still dead. And um, we were stoner kids, and we had a really terrible band. <laughs> what you were know? you called? The band was called EZ, E, -E you know, Z right. Street. <laughs> Anyways, I had a pretty large afro. <laughs> at the time. I mean, it was large. It was large. <laughs> I would say... A large afro. It was large. I mean, it was a real large. It was... You were, run, you were taking control of the street. It was basically. a spectacularly large afro. And they're still trying to this day to get me to regrow it. Yeah. No um, luck. And that's where the nickname came from. It was Puff Head, it oh, used to Puff be. Oh, Puff Head. So, okay. you know, nobody knows it, but now you have this reason. It's exclusive. <laughs> Up next, one from DJ Hurricane and an epic video from Faith No More only on Super Rock.